Video, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video, we have the question one, two, three. So in this video, we shall cover the rest of the questions. Okay. So here they have given that Mrs. A V has presented the information for contract X Y one two three. So the total contract value is three seventy lakh. Certified work completed is three twenty lakh, and cost incurred to rate is three sixty lakh. Progress payment received it is three hundred lakh, and expected future cost to be incurred is fifty lakh, and Revenue to be recognized based on certified work completed. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna recognize the revenue based on the certified work completed. So revenue to be recognized, it is based on the certified work completed. The so so the certified work completed is three twenty lakh. So it is option A. And total expense to be recognized. So what is the cost we have incurred to date? It is. Three sixty lakh. So it is option D. And next question: LP contractors undertake a fixed price contract. So it is a fixed price contract of two hundred lakh. And transactions related to contract include material purchased eighty lakh, expense and unused material, closing stock. So it is thirty lakh. And labor charges sixty lakh, expense and machine used for three years for the contract. Original cost of the machine is hundred lakh. Expected useful life is fifteen years. So from this we can calculate depreciation expense and estimated future cost to be incurred to complete the contract is eighty lakh. So loss on contract to be recognized is. So guys, here uh, it's a fixed price contract of two hundred lakh, right? So whatever the variation may happens in material cost or in wages or labor charges. We gonna get only two hundred lakh itself as a, uh, you know, sales value by providing a construction service. We are getting two hundred lakh. So sales, which means after completing the providing this construction, uh, you know, contract, we gonna get a service. Uh, you know, like after providing this service, we gonna get two hundred lakh. There is no change in it. Okay, and to complete this contract, how much cost we gonna incur or the expense we gonna incur is material purchased. So keep a simple trading and payable account in your mind, and then you gonna get rest of the things. Okay, so material purchased, so it's an expense. So we gonna get uh, write it on the debit side, right? So material uh, purchased is an expense for us. So eighty lakh and unused material. Unused material in the sense it's like a closing inventory or closing stock. So we gonna take it on credit side. So deduct it okay so closing stock or unused material it is 30 lakh and then we have labor charges so labor charge is again an expense so debit side right so how much it is it is 60 lakh okay and then machine used for three years for the contract original cost of the machine is 100 lakh expected useful life is 15 years so from this we're going to calculate what depreciation expense okay so what is depreciation expense it is 100 lakh upon useful life is 15 years into we are using this for just three years so three so the amount is 100 divided by 15 into three so it is 20 lakh fine So then, so the depre uh, depreciation expense, we are going to take it on debit side itself. So, depreciation expense comes out to be 20 lakh. Okay. And then next what we have, estimated future cost to be incurred to complete the contract is 80 lakh. So, to complete this whole contract, we still have to incur 80 lakh. Okay. So, the total is 80 minus 30 plus 60 plus 20 plus 80 so it is 210 lakh so to complete this construction contract service we're gonna incur 210 lakh but what we are getting we are just getting a fixed price contract of 200 lakh so the losses 210 minus 200 it is 10 lakh so it is option B Fine. Thank you. Thanks.